Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to mod Oblivion, an updated version of how to mod Oblivion. So as you can see, I just started a new game, just exited the sewers. My character is still wearing his crappy stuff and he's got his little uh, handcuffs on, torch, crappy stuff. I still have the Amulet of Kings right here and all my stats suck. My health is 100, magic, or magica, whatever. Magicka is 80, Fatigue is 165, all my strength and all that stuff is just down, everything is pretty much down. So I'm going to show you how to mod it so everything is its highest, and so yeah, here's how to do that. Oh, and it's with a USB device, flash drive. So I've already saved, here's my save, and next thing you're going to want to do is go to the dashboard after you saved. Hold on. Okay, and then you're going to go to My Xbox and scroll all the way to the end to System Settings. And then you're going to go to Memory, and then you're going to go to Hard Drive, Games, and go all the way down until you find Oblivion. And then you go into Oblivion and find your saved game. I, I named my guy JTB King. I have a few saved games, but the one I just showed you is named JTB King. So I'm going to move that to my memory unit flash drive USB device and now that I've done that just to make sure it worked hold on go to memory unit games oblivion and there it is so next thing you're going to want to do is take that the memory unit out of your uh, Xbox and put it into your computer and I'll show you what happens on the computer from there alright so now that you've done that on the Xbox you've taken out your thumb drive and now what you're going to have to do is go to this website I'll have the link in the description. It's xboxmb.com forward slash horizon. And when you go there, you're going to have to download this program, Horizon. Totally 100% free to, to do this part. Anyways, there are some things on this program that you would have to pay for, but not for what we're doing. So then you'd click, you'd click uh, save, and then that's it. It's really easy. I'll have the link in the description. All right, so we're just using Horizon for this. So you right click if you're on Windows Vista or 7, uh, you have to right click and click run as administrator. If you're on XP or anything lower, you don't have to do this. You don't have to run as administrator. So I'm going to plug in my USB drive right now. As you heard that, you might get a weird message like this. Just exit that, and then exit this one too. Technically, as soon as you put your USB drive into your Xbox and configure it, it only reads it as uh, an Xbox USB drive, so your computer doesn't read it as good. So now, as soon as you have your USB and Horizon opens up, you're going to have this side thing. It says Device Explorer. So what you're going to do is go to Games, and then you should say Obliv Oblivion. And then right here it says Oblivion. You click on that, and then right here it says Mod, and it shows a picture of a guy on Oblivion. So you click on that, and then I'll show the picture of where you saved. And there's all your strength, and your name, and your hair color, and your level, and your gold, and your lock picks. So what you do is just the highest you can go to is 255. So just go, oops, 255, two. And just make it max. You can make your level whatever. I don't really know what the highest level is. But I'll just do 100. Gold, shitload. Uh, lock picks, shitload. Then skills. This is your blade, your blocking, your hand to hand. You can just you can level them up one by one if you want. Or you can do max stats and it just does them all at once. Then stats over here. It tells you. How many creatures you've killed, your largest bounty, you can change this, or you can just do max, which is really crazily high. And then this over here is inventory, which you have to be a diamond member to do it, which costs money, so we're not doing that right now. But it's pretty cool. Uh, I've seen some people do it, and you can edit your inventory, so it's really cool. And yeah, so then you click save. Might take a second to save it. 
saved, rehashed, and resigned to, to device. So you click OK, exit this, then it already saved it to your USB drive. So you can just exit this, and it's on your USB. So put it back on your Xbox, and I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, so now that you're back on the Xbox, I already plugged in my USB drive before I turned on my Xbox. So I'm going to go to my Xbox, go all the way back over, System Settings, Memory, Memory Unit, Games, Oblivion, the save, then I'm going to move it back over to the hard drive. No items found. And then it's back on the hard drive, so now you just play Oblivion. <coughs> and this should work. It asks you this if you have two memory units. It, so if you have a U USB in your Xbox, it'll ask you which drive. You want to click hard drive. This might take a while to load because I have a lot of content like shivering aisles and all that stuff. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to go to load, and then there's the save right there. It even says right there, level 100, right under my name. So pretty much worked. And if it's loading at this part, like you see the loading bar, you know it worked for sure. Sometimes um, it'll get to this screen, and the loading bar won't even move. And that's okay. That's why you always want to make a backup, just in case you mess up. Like, just drag one. I'll just make it a copy of the save and put it on your computer. So now, as you can see, my speed, don't look at that tutorial shit. My speed's really high. I can jump really high, super fast, you know. Now let's look at my stats. Um, my gold is a shitload of nines. Here, I don't know why it says I'm level one, but okay. Um, my health, well, everything is in 255. Everything is 255. See, the mod worked. And skill increases and everything is, like, super high, as you can see. And, yeah, you can jump on water because you have max, or your acrobatics are all really high. You can see I'm jumping on water, or I was. See? Jumping on water there. And that's basically it. I don't know why my level isn't modded. That's a little weird. But I've never really modded my level too high before. The most I've modded my level was like 50 or something. So, yeah, it works. And there you go. Hope that helped you guys. Thanks for watching, and more tutorials to come.